All right, boom, building downtown back. We got the big dog, Anderson Bradshaw, with us. How's it going, my man? Hey, what's going on, people out there? What's up? What's happening, everybody? Yeah. Blah, blah. I'm doing great. How you guys doing? Doing great, doing great. So you're doing some hostess on hosting on the Undeniable Tour. How did that come about? Actually, first of all, some of you may know this band from the acting industry, stuntman industry, and as you're going to find out on an episode of Building Not Time to Come, he has lived a life, my friends. But the hip-hop thing, you were up there cooking, so you must have some hip-hop bones in your body. How did this thing come about? Um, well, the one thing with the with the tour, the Undeniable uh, Showcase, yep. uh, with Chuck, okay, what happened? Yep. I've known Chuck since uh, we were like 15, you know what I mean? So, yep. so you know, the rapping and stuff, I've been rapping since 1979. Um, when Rapper's Delight came out, and like, uh -huh. my mother would be hosting parties at her at her house, you know, young mom and stuff like that. So we're changing the eight tracks and the and the and the the, the records and shit, and doing all that stuff. So okay. You would listen to all the cool, the, the funk, the James Brown stuff, and the snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you were cooking up there, so Yo, I was very impressed. Very impressed. I thought you were just going to be a host. No, no. Then no. you started kicking some rhymes, and I was like, oh, okay. I thought you know it's going to be play school rhymes, but no, you are. You're nice. Thank you very much. So, what uh, did you have a stint like as a music career? Were you did were you ever trying to make something with that? Um, well, I worked with a couple of hip hop bands, uh, Shades of Culture from Montreal. Uh, with D Shade uh, Revolution and uh, DJ Storm. Okay. Um, I worked with obviously with Chuck and DJ Choice back in the day when they were uh, coming up with Zero Tolerance, um, and so on and so on. And then several bands from Montreal. And then I opened up on a lot of shows with our or with our band at the time when I was with okay. Shade. So I've been doing this for a bit. Mm -hmm. You know. Now we've talked to Chuck quite a bit. We've had him on the show twice yeah. to talk about his past. Right. Were you like, uh, have you been with him for a lot of the things that he's been involved with in the music and like the promoter side more so on the artist side? Uh, a little bit of both, but I've been around. You know, I mean, okay. I've been around. Thing is, I was in the army most of my most of my life, but back and forth. You know, we okay. always kept it up. So with this undeniable tour, are you at every single show? Uh, for for the shows that are are still up. Yeah, some, some things got moved. Certain dates got you know pushed around. Yeah, so pretty much all of them. We'll be at the Barry show. Uh, then we have the Montreal show and stuff like that. I, uh, um, say are again. You, are you going to be going to states? Yeah. Well, we're supposed to have hit uh, two uh, locations in the states. Um, those got kind of pushed, but those will be in the future, and yeah, uh, we'll be crossing over going to states. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, sorry, I got a. <laughs> Call that a brain fart. He like, was oh, smoking shit, outside. <laughs> <laughs> I need to smoke yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you enjoy about doing this? Because you know what I mean? You're taking time out of your day. You're traveling. You, you're doing all kinds of things. Sure, it's fun to get up there and bust some rhymes and shit, yeah. but it does take hard work. It takes dedication and it takes a commitment. What 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 makes you give that to this? What is it you like that you're going to give that commitment and dedication? Um, well, one, working with my buddy, you know what I'm saying? Like getting back into grumpy old men as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spring chicken guys. Um, we show like the other, the younger hip hop cats, you know, the, the, yeah. the boom bap styles and stuff that, even though there's a reggae con like, like kind of vibe to this as well, mm -hmm. it's various artists, but it's the, you know, just get, get back out there. Also, some people open their mouths and they poke the sleeping dragon. They said, ah, oh, you're too old to rap. You can't do that no more. Man, you had your time. I said, yeah, I'm right. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ever see you back in the battle scene? Oh, That's what I was saying. So, so now are we going to see a project release or what? Are you going to put some songs together? Well, you know, my name is Tactics, T-A-K-K-T-I-K-S, the Universal Soldier. Um, I'm going to put something out. Not necessarily nice. an album, not necessarily, you know, a battle, uh, some sort of battle. Uh, it's because after that, this shit I've heard out, on the stage, after this shit I heard on the stage today, I'd like to yeah. hear it recorded and mixed, man. I'm sure that's going to sound dope. That's, that's, that's coming down the line, you know what I mean? We're going to come up with some, something different other than the what, standard album. You know? What was that? Was that written? Was that freestyle? What that was, was that? Freestyle. That was freestyle. That was the freestyle. That was freestyle. I put in some written... Some Check this man's out, small man. Small written pieces from, like, freestyles that I have recorded. Yeah. So I use those as templates for certain things like that. But I can drop something, like, mentally, like, bye, bye, bye. That's dope. <laughs> that's dope. Um, before we wrap it up quick here, do you you have any any other movie work coming? Uh, I have I have um, um I've got a, a small film coming up that I'm going to be in playing like a kind of like Dan of Thieves. He's like a gangster cop type. Nice, guys. nice. We're gonna, in Montreal, we're going to be jacking jackers in Montreal, like taking their shit. So it's a Montreal kind of based cop film, uh, but not a cop film. It's more, but it's like a gangster film. Uh, <laughs> the director's name is uh, Rada. Nice. He was from a band called Latitude North. And we did a music video for them 
20 years ago. It's exactly 20 years called Young Gun Killers. And they're doing a bank robbery. And I'm like one of the bank guards. We got squibs and shit tables popping and shit like that happened. Nice, and nice. Then, and then we did a live SWAT takedown on stage when they did Young Gun Killers for a thing called Franco Foley. So it was live on stage. And then at the break, bam, we fucking kick in the door, wave in the floor floor. You know what I mean? Sick. Smack these guys on the floor. It was dope as ass, so that was cool too. So it, he called me up the other day before the tour and he said, Hey man, 20 years, boom, boom, I got the cash. We're gonna do this thing. I want you guys and your team to come in and do some nice. proper takedown stuff, but you're bad guys. So we got we got something new on the screen coming. We got yeah. a tracker or more coming. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to plug in before we let you go? Um, uh, you know, we got Carberry my back, you know what I'm saying? You gotta guys look out for Carberry, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's coming up. That's one of the guys that we're working with, you know what I mean? And just props out to everybody out there and let's keep the scene going, man. Thank you guys very much, you know. No, thank you, Anderson. I appreciate it. Like I said, everyone, be on the lookout. Probably about four or five weeks throughout Anderson Bradshaw is gonna be joining us for a full episode. And from hanging out with this man all day, I can tell you it is gonna be a fucking mind-blowing episode. Build that town, Anderson Bradshaw. Well, peace. Thank you guys.